Hello and welcome to Cobalt Retro Tech. Hope you're having an amazing day. Now today we're going to be taking a little bit of a closer look at this X game ripoff Xbox console that I got from Goodwill a little while back. If you'd like to check out that video, it's my uh, first Goodwill haul episode. Take a look at that console and a few other stuff that I got from Goodwill for mostly a good price. This one, because of Goodwill technicalities, was not a good price, but I got some stuff out of it. So... Eh, not that big of a deal. So when I had this thing hooked up to my living room TV, it was hooked up through HDMI. This one I got hooked up through composite. This TV does have HDMI, but I'm curious how different the experience is when going through composite rather than HDMI. My bet is the video quality is probably going to be worse, but... It also might be better, depending on how this thing is uh, designed. That would be very interesting, and that's what I'm curious about. Also, HDMI is kind of well-known for uh, input latency. Sometimes more laggy than others. So, depending on how this thing was designed, again, it's also possible that this might get more playable overall. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and turn this thing on. Maybe. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, video quality might actually be worse. Did you see that artifacting that was booting up? Seems to be okay now. I didn't hear anything. Is this thing muted? Oh, which is very, very not. <laughs> Audio. Oh, yes. I have my speakers turned off. Dear Lord. Yeah, there we go. Now we've got sound. Sound quality is obviously worse. Because whatever, um, whatever analog circuitry is in there is obviously picking up electrical interference from the device itself. Yeah, it goes away as soon as that thing is turned off. And that LED blinking there as it's booting up. <laughs> Okay, we get the full boot up sound, but the sound is so interfered with that it's kind of, well, very distracting. But yeah, that, that LED blinking there at boot up, that's not just some kind of weird thing with the camera. I see that with my own eyes. Interesting. Make a selection and the audio cuts out for a second. All right. Um, I looked at Mario one first time around. Let's go three. Okay. Looks to be an unmodified Mario Bros. Three ROM. Audio seems to be a bit quiet, but that might be a good thing. Yeah, audio still looks like it sucks, but visually, eh, it's about on par as it is over HDMI. It's just uh, a little bit smoothed out. So if your if your speakers weren't working, or if you were deaf and using this system over composites, you might not notice much is actually wrong. If you're not paying really close attention to how the pixels look. Okay, just now finding something out. These two buttons are turbo buttons, of course. I mean, the, the quality, the overall quality isn't that great. But like I said in the Goodwill video, this is totally... Technically playable. And this, this controller. 
This controller, like I said in that Goodwill video, this is actually a good controller. This is um, somewhere firmly in between a third-party PlayStation controller and a first-party PlayStation controller. More towards the official, like, in terms of feeling, more towards an official PlayStation controller than a third-party one. I don't own any first-party PlayStation controllers, but I have played with a few over the years. So yeah, there's a lot of screen tearing. Which is incredibly distracting. And the pixel scaling isn't quite right, even in composite mode, which is weird. Um... And the audio feedback is very distracting. But overall, the quality is not as bad as I expected. It's still bad, but it's not as bad as I expected. Dr. Mario? Well, that's a game that I know very well. I played a lot on my uh, NES Mini. <laughs> Oh, what the heck is this? It's skipping notes. I'll have to look back at the footage because I don't remember it being this bad with uh, Mario 1 or Mario 3, but this is definitely struggling in the audio department with this game. good at Dr. Mario, but I never claimed I was great, <laughs> to be fair. This, this audio interference is frankly not acceptable. Uh, let's see, do we have anything resembling Tetris? I don't know how there's several Angry Birds games. There's already Angry Birds for the any era, the uh, super, the, the... I'm having a brain fart, sorry. Already Angry Birds for the Genesis, which is automatically not the same game. I just put select. I don't know what I did. It's 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 doing something. Pushing select seems to have frozen the game, but not entirely. <laughs> I don't know what game that's supposed to be, because I'm not super familiar with a lot of the NES's library, but that's not a great experience. What is this one supposed to be? What is this music theory? This sounds like crap. Well, at least this is supposed to actually emulate Angry Birds. And this doesn't do physics that well, just like the Genesis counterpart, but at the same time, it's not gaming me over after one bird. 
So... And look at that, this one's actually playable if you can clear out the blood from your ears. Okay, that's enough of that. No. Nope. There we go. Okay, I gotta put this on HDMI because this audio stuff is driving me nuts. Oh dear lord, that's way too loud. See... I expected that audio quality that we were hearing, but all the time. But apparently the digital nature of HDMI completely fixes that audio issue. Oh? <laughs> all three Angry Birds games on the NES are totally different games. Okay. I obviously have no idea how to play this game because usually games would come with a manual. <laughs> uh, I still think this system looks like crap, but I mean, what are you going to do? I suspect that this system is typically sold at about half of the price that Goodwill sold it to me. I, I suspect it's usually like a maybe $20 system. I mean, if the audio wasn't broken on this system, this would actually be a pretty cool sounding soundtrack. But unfortunately... The sound on the system is broken. I might have to do some research because whatever this game is based on actually looks like something I might want to, like, actually play. So if I can, if I can hunt down a ROM of it and slap it on my NES Mini, or even better, find a legit copy of what this game is actually supposed to be, that would be really cool. Granted, I don't have an NES yet, that's gonna be... Okay, that's not something we could stand on. <laughs> I don't have uh, a legit NES yet. Uh, that's going to happen at some point, but uh, it's going to be a little bit because those things are getting to be a little bit pricey, kind of like the GameCube is right now. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's give some other games a chance. Let's do... Uh, no more NES stuff. Uh, let's do Super Nintendo stuff. Let's see, I already looked at Mario World. Ooh, Mario RPG. That's usually pretty hard to emulate. And that font looks like crap. But... I'm not super familiar with how this game runs on its native hardware, but that looks like a lower frame rate than it should be running at. Which, I'm not surprised. If I didn't already know that that's supposed to say Legend of the Seven Stars, that would be a little hard to figure out. Okay, both sets of shoulder buttons do the same thing.
Yeah, there, there's definitely dips in frame rate. I can tell because of how the audio is playing. Isn't this literally the intro cutscene? <laughs> Man. This looks and sounds bad, but again, I honestly expected worse. I don't know if my expectations were too low. Oh, 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 now we're in game plans, worse. Oh, look at that, his jump is like two frames. Oh. That is disgusting. <laughs> okay, let's try a battle. Wait. Yeah. Uh, that's a little bit, a little bit like Mario and Luigi Saga. Uh, oh dear lord. <laughs> it's still, oh man, this does not bode well. This looks like I'm trying to emulate this system on a 286 IBM PC or something. This is... D oh. Oh, yeah. Attack. Yeah. Well, that's enough of that. That is... Gross. Maybe skipping a few friends could help. Not really. Okay. What else we got? We got Aladdin. Sonic Blast Man? Not familiar with that. Taito game. Okay. I'm pretty sure that wasn't supposed to sound like that. And that is the theme of this system. Oh, it's a Street Fighter style uh, beat em up. Pretty sure my shadow isn't supposed to be doing that, but okay. Again, this seems like a genuinely fun game. It's just being emulated very poorly. Oh, come on, dude. <laughs> this combo moves. That's hilarious. <laughs> Okay, fun game, poor emulation. Are you sensing a theme yet? Because I think I'm sensing a theme. So yeah, Pokemon Fire Red Leaf Green, we know those aren't going to uh, perform well. What about uh, Crash Bandicoot here? If this is even a Crash game. really care about um, exposition, I just want to play the game. A 
Uh, well, I mean, again, pixel scaling. I think it's working against the system here because this doesn't look good. I can I could uh, go in those shelters, but apparently not. Yeah, again, I think the video of this system is working against the quality, which, of course. Why couldn't this be a trampoline and not a crate with an up arrow? That doesn't make much sense, but okay. I mean, there's a lot of things of games that just don't make sense, but that's not my point. Exposition. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> I put some time for some other games here. Um, I worked at Mario World last time. Is there? Yoshi's Island. Okay, good start. I don't have this game for my Game Boy Advance, but I do have it on my 3DS because I was part of the Ambassador program. Yes, I got my 3DS, my original, like, my Ambassador model, that was a long time ago. So I have a copy of this game on my Nintendo ID account. So, visually, this looks about on par as everything else, but the sound actually sounds correct. A little tinny because this is a cheap TV, but it sounds correct. It's not correct. Kind of. Uh, I am sure that that was not supposed to show up like that with that transition there, but uh, I'll, I'll have to double check. Yeah, there's like a quarter of a second of input delay, but that's actually not that far off from... Uh, <clears throat> some some types of uh, older HDMI devices. I would very much rather play this on my 3DS or an actual Game Boy Advance, but, you know, if this was all I had, I mean, I could definitely complain, but I could do worse. I could totally do worse. Huh. Again, I am a weird mix of impressed, but unimpressed with this system. Yeah, there's supposed to be a background with those transitions, but that's just not... I can't remember what it's supposed to look like. I'll have to uh, double check, but that's not what it's supposed to look like. Okay, 
second. My D-pad is failing me here. Oh! And I think the audio lag is worse than the video lag. Which, uh, sometimes it's like that. Just no matter what. Jingle Book, Tom, Tom and Jerry, what? What is going on here? Wasn't aware that uh, they made any Tom and Jerry games. Okay. Either this is a very convincing ROM hack, or this is like actually a published game of Tom and Jerry. Probably published. <laughs> that jump sound effect, though. Oh. None of the other buttons seem to do anything at the moment. Can I jump on, on things? No? Okay. Okay. Uh, that button seems to be run. Uh, am I supposed to be able to come back with, like, a jump upgrade, or am I just totally unaware of the controls? Might be a bit of both. Spider-Man. I know there's a couple Spider-Man games. I think... I think this is one I had when I was really young. Yeah. <laughs> Punch cops, okay. Uh, this is a game that I had way back in the day. Is you know, before I was kind of got into, like, serious gaming with the original Xbox and stuff. Still, like, really young back in the day, but, um, my first gaming experiences were with a Sega Genesis. Uh, probably a Model 2. But this is one of the games I've played. There was also, uh, I also, I think, occasionally played uh, Vector Man. And one of my favorite weird Sega Genesis games, Booger Man, A Pick and Flick Adventure. I'm probably going to look at it at some point in this channel. But, uh, yeah, that was, that was a fun game. Even though I have yet to get very far at all. Controls are weird. I don't know. I don't know if it's just because of. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if it's just because of this uh, control layout because this wasn't designed with a PlayStation controller in mind. But uh, <laughs> or if I just remember the controls making a lot more sense because you know I was like four. But yeah, either way. This is weird. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I just accepted this as fact with the game just because I was so young and everything made sense to me back in the day. Okay. Hold the jump button and I could stick to walls. And stuff. Okay. <laughs> Man, that is a blast from the past that I didn't expect. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, 
Let's see. Uh, do we have Booker Man? Or uh, I think I had Clay Fighter also. Uh, I haven't seen that Sega Genesis in like five, five or six years at this point. Which is a little disappointing, especially since uh, Clay Fighter, I think, especially the director's director's cut on the N64, that's a little bit of a rarer game. Battletoads. Okay. I don't think I had this one, but I've always heard really good things about this series, so... Yeah, yeah, exposition. I want to actually play the game, please. <laughs> okay. Maybe sprites look a little ridiculous, but this... Okay, maybe maybe I'm more into uh, fighting games than I originally thought, because I haven't played much fighting games like this for for quite some time. I'm forgetting which button is punch. Ah! Come on. Whoa, I just picked him up. How did I... Okay. <laughs> I'm having so much fun, I'm not even sure how I'm playing, how I'm playing. <laughs> I totally see how people would be into this series. This is really fun. <laughs> I'm gonna have to see if I can find a legit copy of this one day. Cool. Columns 3? I don't think there was three Collins games. Maybe, maybe there was? This definitely sounds like a Collins game. I played a lot of uh, Collins 1 way back in the day. I just want to play the game, please. Oh, I'm making this game into, like, Robotnik's Meme Beam Machine kind of Puyo Puyo bullcrap? Okay. Sound emulation doesn't sound 100% correct, but to be fair, I'm not super familiar with this game. Soundtrack sounds pretty good though. This this shit slaps. Oh, I okay. Yay combos. Like, really, though, this is a really good soundtrack. Like, this is... This is a song that would have inspired me to pick up the guitar. Probably. I don't know. But it is... It is a really good song. Like, what? Like, the, the original Column song is iconic enough as it is, but this is like... a 
bunch. Like, <laughs> I'm having a hard time describing the song. And I'm not playing very well, because reasons. Uh, it's giving me... What the heck was that? This version of the game is throwing stuff at me that I haven't seen. Okay, uh, well, there's that Columns 3 game. It has the original one. Could probably put the original one on here. <gasps> Bonanza Bros! Altered Beast! Awesome! Played those two games a lot on the, uh, Ultimate Sega Genesis collection on the 360. I don't think I got super far with this one, but I like this game. I don't think it's supposed to be flickering that much, but okay. Okay, buttons, what do they do? I could have could have sworn that was a whack button. Yes. Wow. <laughs> that is a hilarious sound. I'm not playing this game very well. <laughs> Damn it, I got caught. <laughs> I didn't expect games that I am familiar with to be on the system, aside from what I've already played. Uh, oh. I also played a little bit of uh, Paperboy on a Midway arcade compilation on the original Xbox. Although I don't think I played this specific version. And because apparently I suck at these games, I'm going to turn down the difficulty a little bit for the sake of gameplay. Okay. Well, <sighs> Even at the easiest difficulty, I still suck at this game. You can see some pretty, pretty bad uh, screen tearing. I'm not convinced this game is being emulated properly at all. <laughs> okay, that's enough of that. Oh yeah, Altered Beast. Another game I'm familiar with. Was never really good at this game, but I'm familiar with it at least. Yeah, 
I don't think that sound emulation is correct. I do remember this game pretty fondly, though. Yeah, something something tells me that sound emulation is not correct. It seems to be a theme of this video, which I'm not surprised. Oh, that's a one hit kill? Are you kidding? Oh wait, maybe my health is just yeah, my health is just low. I forget those power ups though. I don't think they add health. <laughs> I forget how brutally difficult some older games can be sometimes. Cade Classics. Send him heed. Launch upon missile command. Let's do centipede. Yay, it's centipede. It's centipede and it sounds more annoying than usual. Who would have guessed? Alright, that's enough of the Genesis stuff. And here's my totally unknown territory here. The Neo Geo stuff. Although, guessing by the emulation performance of everything else and what I remember from looking at this from the last video, I don't think it's great. Oh yeah. That audio is escaping. I don't I don't need to know how the game is supposed to sound to know that that audio emulation is not good. Okay, so this is what I thought it was, some kind of cutesy puzzle-based... Okay, yeah. <laughs> Not familiar with either of these franchises, so this will be fun. So this is a bit like Columns, huh? I'm not 100% sure what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah, I, I really don't know what I am supposed to be doing here. Uh, I'm getting some bits and pieces though. Okay. 
Is that gonna... Whoa! I'm doing things! Okay. Okay, yeah, that wasn't quite what I was going for, but okay. Oh yeah! Okay! Well, I know enough to screw over my opponent, apparently. I will have this be the end of the video. Emulation performance, like I've been saying throughout the video, not good, not bad. I expected worse, but it definitely could be better. I would not recommend using composite with this system. That is obviously the wrong choice when it comes to this system, but if that's all you got, honestly, get a better system. Get a PC that could actually emulate games better than this. Basically, basically any, like, even entry-level computers, full-fat entry-level Windows computers nowadays can at least emulate some of these systems significantly better than this absolute piece of crap can. So if you're going to support piracy in not paying, not quote-unquote, paying the developers to have this games on a modern system by getting one of these systems, you might as well just put in a little bit more effort, grab a PC, grab a laptop or something for cheap off of eBay, and emulate things that way. This is interesting in its own right, but it's a total piece of crap. So if you don't have one, and you're not like me, and you're not just getting it for the experience, and you want to, like, actually play some games, uh-uh, not, uh, nope, nope, just ig 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 ignore this, this is not a good option, but all that being said, it's better than I expected, kind of wish I didn't have to pay $40 for this system, but hey, I'm the stupid one for buying it for that price, not Goodwill selling it to me for that price. So, eggs on my face, I guess. Alright, that'll be it for this video. If you like this video, please go ahead and like it, subscribe if you want to see more, and if you want to support my channel that much more, I do have a Patreon listed in the description below. Speaking of Patreon, I've got to thank my Kilo supporter, Indian Mac, for helping make Cobalt Retro Tech possible. Thank you. And if you want some more technically related content, I do have a podcast where I occasionally post episodes where I just talk about technology related things that are interesting enough to talk about but might not be interesting enough for their own videos. And with all that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.